assisting the disaster um, uh, efforts here at the control room. Uh, could you tell us uh, how are the situation here in Sikkim currently? Uh, as far as the water uh, level is concerned, it has receded. It is receded. That's there. Uh, the uh, the casualties, etc., whatever chief secretary said, that is we will still because till we get the entire thing because as we, as we all know there, um, there has been uh, some of the missing persons till we get the dead we will not but as far as we are whatever chief takes and that is the thing. and the situation as I said the water level is uh, as of today it is receding uh, we have not been able to uh, monitor about the not distribution total because uh, road co communication is not at all there so, but still we are trying to uh, be in contact with them to find an actual situation. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, I live, uh, like uh, our services of our, all our people, SDRM, NDRM, and all our departmental officials of all the present service, so that, you know, uh, no one to further uh, this in their house. Uh, so government is, uh, government is uh, monitoring the whole thing. And then, uh, uh, if, if weather, let us see, tomorrow if weather improves, then we may be able to you know, uh, with the operating air, air lifting process also we will be able to do it. Uh, as of today, we will update you about the further details. So still we get the entire report, we not be able to do it. Sir, so far we haven't received any information, but there are wide-scale visuals that are coming off uh, the Tista State Street Dam being actually uh, breached. Could you tell us more about it, sir? Uh, the Tista, we have the report about the Tista State Street Dam breaching. This one you can see that. Tell us, sir. It is true, right? It is, it is, it is, it is true. And has there been any damages that have been reported from Chungtang, specifically casualties, any, sir? Uh, that side, from north side, we have not received any information on the casualties. Uh, as you know, there's, uh, other words, damage that is there, but the casualties, we have not seen anything, so far. And God for nothing may happen. Sir, there's an eerie coincidence to something that happened in the uh, in Sikkim in the past. Uh, the 1968 uh, flash floods is equally important, and it is said it happened on this specific day. You're someone who might have seen this particular incident happen. Could yes, you tell us exactly, about that? Yes, exactly. Um, in fact, I'm I'm one of the witnesses. I I, I was also one of the volunteers. Uh, there was a refugee camp, a refugee camp at uh, the Saramsa site. That was totally empty. So, I mean, there was more than devastating uh, because the land, extensive land started taking place. So that was, and then I think during that time, washing our bridges was not, was not that much. But this time, it is extensive. So that is the reason why totally the entire North East is totally cut off because we have not been good to do I mean, we do have uh, uh, West District, uh, South East, we have communication there. But then by communicating, you know, to, uh, venturing towards that side, this side, that is been quite difficult because of the road. So as an eyewitness, can you conclude that maybe this was, this particular this is... This, 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 this is more disaster, uh, devastating than the 1960s. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.